It was just another day for the trains as they left Tidmus Shed. Thomas was happy because of his new gold coat, but scared because Sir Topham had it put a big red horse right by the train tracks. Hi, Harold. I like your gold coat. See, Harold. I have to go now. Bye, Thomas. I'm sorry you gave me the scare you. You did it? No, I'm a North Horse. I want to be free. Great idea. Now I'm going to send you to be free and scared. Oh, don't worry about it, Thomas. The only thing that we're worried about is Slammy. The, the, Slammy? Soon as I draw you, monster. How will stop Slammy? Only one who can help us. Roast Beef. Roast Beef? No, Roast Speed. R-O-W-S-B-E-E-D. Roast Speed. Where do we find Roast Speed? It's a long journey. But I'll show you! Thomas headed off with his new friend, the Red Horse, to find the magic dog, Rosebeak. We've been traveling for a long time. How much longer are we going to get to Rosebeak? Ah! It's long! It's long! We need your help. We're worried about Slammy. Knowing that Slammy was wreaking havoc on the city, Thomas, Rosebeed, and the Red Horse rushed back to save the day. You leave my friends alone! Slammy had been defeated thanks to the magic dog, Rosebeed, and Thomas had two new friends. Yay, we did it! I slayed that evil Slammy! Yeah, you did! Now, do you want to go for a walk with us? Yeah, now that we're all friends, we can do anything we want. Yeah, now let's go for a walk if you want. Okay. Lessons were learned, obstacles were overcome, and everything was wrapped up in a neat little bow, just like every episode of Thomas ever made. Rosebeed, you're a very good dog. Rosebeed, a magic dog. Rosebeed, you like to talk and bark. And Rosebeed, you're my friend.